of grade 5. My name is Saura Dangol. My name is Prabhash Kautam. My name is... My name is Ayan Saula, guy. Today we are uh, today we are going to present the model of ecosystem. An ecosystem is a community of living organisms like plants and animals interacting with their physical environment. It consists of both biotic and abiotic components. Those are the areas of landscape that are dominated by trees and consists of biologically integrated plants and animals. To make this project, everybody from class 5 were involved. We used paper, party hats, um, toy animals, artificial trees, real trees, and etc. So, STEM is connected with our science project since ecosystem is already a concept of science. And technology was involved because we did some research. And we used our engineering skill to uh, fix fix some appropriate things in appropriate place and we used our art skill to do painting drawing and stuff like that and we used our mathematical skill to do a bit of fraction to make shapes and to do measurement of making this model is to learn ecosystem in detail just like the animals like giraffe and elephants depend on other plants the animals like uh, lion, lions depend on the den for their shelter that protects them from the heat of the sun and the heavy, rain, uh, heavy rainfalls. Um, the animals like crocodile and frogs, the, the, they live in both land and water, so they are called amphibian animals. These animals breathe through skin in water and breathe through lungs in land. The objective of making this model is to show the relationship between the living and non-living components of the ecosystem. Thank you. Nice. I like how you can see the relations between food, a, pr a prey, and predator. Well, technically, because this is the food and this is uh, the per thing that is eating it. You can see the demonstration of shelter, uh, different animals in different environments. I would like to see like a predator and prey, so like a deer and a jaguar or a lion, but it's very nice. One question I have to ask is, what's going on over here? It's called the aquatic life. It has shown that the, how they live in the aquatic, aquatic animals, how they live their life. Wow. It's very nice demonstration to show it when you don't have enough space to actually put them under the water. They are very cute too. Where did you get them? Um, from our mem's office.